Hello everyone, and welcome to Dino Draws Dinos, in which Dino draws dinos in alphabetical order. And today, my foot is really hurting for some reason, and I don't know why. We'll be looking at the Adriticlet, which was an herbivorous stegosaur that lived in North Africa in the middle of the Jurassic period. The name comes from the two Berber words, Adrar, which means mountain, and Ticlet, which means lizard. Altogether, it's a mountain lizard. If this dino had a voice, it would sound like plaid or polka dot. I mean, I don't think plaid will suit me very well or flatter me, but isn't polka dot just a little too childish? Like, can you imagine wearing polka dot to a big event? Etc. Once, this dinosaur was really hungry. They hadn't eaten breakfast since they'd gone up kind of late. So all they'd eaten was a mocha drink and Teresa's awful health chips. And it was already dinner time. As they wandered around with an empty stomach, they eventually came across a smell that was like nothing else. It was savory, with a little spice to it, and it was coming from a corner not too far ahead. The corner led to a lit-up alleyway, and despite not being the Adriticlet's preference when it comes to surroundings, they had to admit it was pretty colorful and very lively. With their astute nose, the Adriticlet tracked down the smell to a... little shack? I mean, okay, it wasn't a shack, but it was barely a restaurant. It seemed just to be a cutout of a closed building, with stringed lights attached to a wooden shingle awning. It looked like the only cooking method was a large griddle, which seemed to be attached to a bar that had four or five padded, run-down stools seated at it. Next to the opening to the building, there was a neon sign that read, Yokosa Papina, and another one that said the same thing on the top of the awning, both with moths flying around them, and the Adjetikla could barely stand being there for another minute. They're about to painfully walk away from the wonderful smell, but their stomach had other plans, and made an unexpected and very loud grumbling noise, so loud that the owner of the restaurant turned his head to see the embarrassed dino. The man smiled warmly and gestured for the dino to sit at the stool. Cautious of the worn stool, but too polite and hungry to refuse the man, the Adriticlet sat down and, after ordering a lemonade, looked at a menu that was taped to the side of the stand. There was nothing on the menu that the herbivore was familiar with, and after the restaurant owner noticed the Adriticlet's discomfort, started making something without asking the Adriticlet. The dinosaur looked down at the owner's hands, which were preparing something so fast and skilled. It looked like they had worked there for years, if not his whole life, and the Adriticlet was surprised that they were so agile. After filling thin dough with vegetables and some other ingredient, the Adriticlet couldn't see or didn't know what, the old owner placed each ball in the griddle, adding spices while they cooked, and handed over the dinosaur their lemonade. Sipping on their lemonade, the Adriticlet continued to watch the owner as they put each lump on a plate, and then set the plate on the bar in front of the herbivore. The Adriticlet was cautious of the strange lumps, as they weren't quite what they were used to, usually going to pricey, high-class restaurants and all, and wearily picked up one of the balls, as there were no other forks or utensils, apparently. And just after taking a small bite, the Adriticlet was amazed. The unknown ingredient turned out to be some sort of shrimp made out of soy, and the dish tasted even better than how it smelled. Realizing their expression on their face must be incredibly embarrassing, the Adriticlet set down the ball and acted as if the food hadn't just been an astonishing experience. But when they looked up at the owner, they saw that he was smiling an even warmer smile than he had before, as if he could see right through the dinosaur's uptight charade. Finally, finally... The Adriticlet let go of their embarrassment, and smiled back. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I love you all, my sweet babes. I hope you liked my drawing, and I hope to see you again next time. This has been Dino Draws Dinos.